All right, y'all. So just a uh, one to a really quick review. Um, I'm not even going to go into any details because it's a book, so I want you to read it, and uh, I'm not going to ruin anything for you. But we're going to talk about first <laughs> the medical detectives. This is by uh, Paulette Cooper. And this is a good book. If you're into, like, the true crime stuff, this is amazing. And it'll take you back. This is in 1972? 1973? 1973. 1973. Um, but it, it takes you through, you know, some CSI stuff. And it's it's definitely an interesting read. It talks about, like, JFK, uh, stuff like that. Uh, but that's, again, not why we're here. <clears throat> in 1971... Paula Cooper, actually, she, before this, she had done um, a piece on Scientology, and then <clears throat> they got mad. They went after her then, but then she came out with one of the first books on Scientology, um, The Scandal of Scientology. And reading through this book, it seems like their playbook hasn't changed really all that much. Um, I'm just going to take an excerpt here. This is a footnote. At one of the Scientology lectures I attended, someone asked, if the goal of Scientology is to help the world, why is it so expensive that very few people in the world can afford to be helped by it? The person was told that nothing is expensive when your happiness is at stake. Which, of course, did not answer the question. You know, this is the same question they're answer I'm asking today and still not getting the answer. So, um, good book. Uh, again, this is hard to find. Don't know if you'll find it. You'll probably find it in other, or maybe other formats out there. Um, good read, but, um, I just want to focus on, really, this book right here. Um, uh, this is The Perils of Paulette. And again, Paulette Cooper. Look at that. Um, this is her autobiography. This is her memoir. And, um, it's, it's really great. Because she takes you through her kind of entire life. Um, at 26, she was a stowaway on, on a cruise ship, um, and she takes you through what she imagined she was going to do. She had it all planned out, and of course, not everything goes as planned, but she takes you through her life. And um, one of the, the things that was crazy is, you know, she took on Scientology, and I wondered why she did that, because it did such horrible things. Um, but she was a Holocaust survivor, and, and she talks about it in here. Um, and now, Scientology was really mad at Miss Lovely, and they had 19 different lawsuits. They actually stole her stationery, got her fingerprint on it, wrote a f bomb threat, and sent them to themselves. Which, who would do a bomb threat on their own stationery? But the FBI got involved. She was facing 15 years. Right, so all these lawsuits, they had uh, Scientology had positioned all these people around her to really just you know tear up her life. They did different campaigns against her wherever she lived. They infiltrated her home with uh, somebody, and what was amazing is uh, five years into this this uh, uh, this uh, FBI investigation. At some point, the FBI actually raided Scientology, and what they found there was the plans to frame Miss Lovely, Paulette Cooper, and it was actually drawn out what they had done, and that bomb threat was in there, so um, she got <clears throat> luckily exonerated from that charge, but it, it's been ongoing still, I don't know about right now, but... Um, it, it is amazing. I don't know how she survived it. So, again, uh, Paulette Cooper is, is now my uh, spirit animal because she uh, kicks ass. Um, I, I'm not going to go into uh, the details of the book because I think it's worth a read, uh, especially for you women out there, girl, girls out there. Um, you want a, a good uh, – well, maybe not girls because some of the content's a little, little bit racy. Um, but um, – Go out there and, and read, find out more about um, Miss Lovely, uh, Paulette Cooper. And Miss Lovely was her code name that um, L. Ron Hubbard had given her. And it is fascinating. So do yourself a favor, get yourself a book, go to Amazon, check it out. I loved it. She is a courageous woman, great writer. She had me laughing out loud, literally. Um, you know, check it out.
Cool. Peace.